Hey, it's Joey from I'm Zelit. We're back in the shop. We still got Shano 17 Lowrider S. We were going through doing a little safety check after we installed that crash bar. So we figured out he needed some new brake pads. So something every new bike owner should make sure to go through and check periodically is like your front and rear brake pads, tire tread depth. So we'll go through and we'll change these pads. I'm gonna show you how to do it real quick. It's, it's gonna take just a few minutes. So stick with us and we'll get through it. On all these 07 and up dinas, it's gonna be this style with these two floating, these pins here, and then you'll have just the one bolt that locks in the pads. So to make your life easy, break this guy loose with, every, with a quarter, 12 point quarter socket. Don't take it all the way out, but just break it loose. That way you don't gotta fumble with it when it's off the bike. You take a T40 on a ratchet, you can break it both of these loose. Before we take those all the way out, tuck a little microfiber in here just so we don't scratch anything. You got both your pins out. Just go ahead and pull up on this. Careful for the lip on your rim. Hang this over. Make sure to tuck that microfiber in there. Now, I'm gonna try to keep this pad or this caliper upside down for a second. Look how thin these friction material on these pads is compared to a brand new pad. Thickness is significantly different. But before we get that bolt out and take these pads all the way out, we're going to use them. Take two flathead screwdrivers, or at least on these dual, dual caliper piston, dual piston caliper, sorry, and get right in front of the piston. We're going to take another one. And we're going to twist these in the opposite directions. One up and one down. That way we can collapse those pistons in the caliper to make room for the new pads. One of our pistons didn't collapse all the way. Distance collapse. And be careful, you got these cups inside here. They'll fall out. second. We're going to take our new pads. Be careful because the inside of these pistons you got these little cups that'll just fall right out. We're going to flip that upside down. We'll drop our new pads in. And you'll be able to get this outside pad locked into that little spring plate in there. 
go ahead and run our bolt through. Take your socket, run it in a little bit. Work it down the rest of the way in the end. Now you want to keep that outside one locked in that little spring clip as you come up and over the rotor. When you drop it down, careful this little rubber boot sometimes likes to get caught on the mount, so just push it in a little bit until you're clear of it. And then you also have to get these square tangs back here inside the square notch. And don't forget to take your 12 point quarter socket, torque down that last bolt, make sure to pump up your rear brakes. Once they're nice and tight, you're ready to rip.